classroom crisis. Several school districts across the country forced to close their doors tomorrow. This is not for a holiday or for a teacher workday, but because of severe staffing shortages. News Asian correspondent Nancy Liu joins us live tonight in Seattle. So, Nancy, that is one of the affected locations. You're right, Nicole. And Seattle families knew schools would be closed today for Veterans Day, but the cancellation for tomorrow wasn't announced until this week, triggering reaction from GLAD to MAD. The sudden four day weekend impacts nearly 75,000 public school kids here in Seattle and the Bellevue District as well. And while weather was among the reasons cited, the bigger issue is a critical staffing shortage. More than 600 educators had requested leave for tomorrow, and with not nearly enough people in the substitute pool, the district was forced to cancel, citing the extra day for physical, mental, and emotional restoration. The same dilemma has also canceled all classes for tomorrow in Denver, Colorado. Staffing issues had already forced some Denver schools to switch back to remote learning. I get that we're staying at home, you know, for being sick, but to actually have a shortage of teachers now, <laughs> that's a whole nother scary subject. It's just hard to, to learn through a screen. Now, Denver used to have a pool of about 1,400 substitutes to tap. That pool is now under 400. Administrators say getting subs to fill in on a Friday after a holiday is a hard ask, even without a labor shortage. Nicole? Yeah, sure, sure is there, Nancy. So physical, mental, and emotional restoration. All right, Nancy, tell us, why is that substitute pool so low, though? Well, in a lot of districts, Nicole, the substitute pool is retired teachers, and there are a lot of elderly teachers, former teachers, who don't want to take the risk because of the pandemic. And also the pandemic has made the job of teaching so much harder with protocols and all of the additional pressures of dealing with the pandemic. You may recall that in Oregon, they recently lowered the standards for substitutes in order to have more staffing coverage. Nicole? Yeah, we, we certainly appreciate our teachers. They've had to deal with a lot. All right, Nancy, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.